Think about your favorite games. Have you ever wondered how they were made or why they look the way they do? There are a lot of steps and different jobs involved in creating a game. Today, you will practice these steps as you design and test your own computer game in Codable. Here's your mission. Design your own Asteroid Blaster game. Select variables and modify their values to customize the way your game looks and functions. So what goes into making a game? Well, here at Codable, we have two programmers, one designer, one head of product, and one project manager who collaborate and work together to make one game come to life. Let's start from the beginning though. There are some basic steps that people go through in the process of making a game. Step one, ideate. What is the idea for your game? Step two, design. What will your game look like? How will it work? Step three, create. Program or develop your game. Step four, test. Have other players play your game and give you feedback. Step five, iterate. What is working and what isn't? Repeat this process to continue to improve your game over time. Let's take a look at this process in Codable's Game Designer. We've already taken care of step one and come up with the idea for this game. The goal is to clear the colored asteroids with the fuzzballs. Today, you will help with the rest of the steps. Here's what you'll do. Open the game settings code and take a look at the variables that you can add or change here at the bottom. If you decide to add the game background variable, then you can choose the value. For example, I can make the value stars or galaxy and change the way my game's background looks for a player. Let's look at another example, this time in the asteroids file. Asteroid drop direction is a variable. Right now, the value assigned to it is down. I can change this value to up. Now the asteroids clear by moving up in programming, we refer to variables with values that are words, like up or down, as string variables. But some variables can have number values. In the bins file, if I assign a value of 5 to the number bins variable, then I have more asteroids to play with. Number of bins stores a number value, so we call this an integer variable. Select more variables and assign or modify their values to design the rest of your game. Be sure to save your code by clicking the green check mark each time. You did it! When you are done, test it out. Trade with a partner for them to play too and get feedback. Finally, iterate on your game based on the feedback from your partner. That's what's so great about variables. They can change. For example, if your friend says the game was too hard, you will want to change the difficulty. Find the game difficulty variable and modify its value to be something easier. Don't forget, building a game takes a lot of testing and improvements. Just look at how Codable has changed over the years. And we're not done yet. Now it's your turn. Open Game Designer, create a game, and complete your mission. Remember, you are looking to design your own Asteroid Blaster game. You will select variables and modify their values to customize the way your game looks and functions. Good luck!